Hello everybody, it's Dago Say, Pretty Strange Walkthroughs, Majora's Mask, Three Hearts, Stone Tower Temple, the flip side still. And here we have the coolest sub boss in the game, Darkrai! Well, I've always called him Darkrai, he's sort of like a Grim Reaper thing. What you do basically is you hit hit him with a light arrow to knock away all of his bats, and then he'll come up and swing at you, and if you get close enough, he'll always miss. And he always counters you by doing that. Now, what happened last time in my practice run was I got really. In I always, the only reason I ever got hurt during this guy is because I'm impatient. But what happened in my practice run was um, I got hit by a blue bubble and I was way too impatient for the jinx to wear off. Mainly because it was taking freaking forever. So I'm like, okay, I'll just fly him here and just kind of run around. No, bad idea. Don't do that. I had to waste a fairy because of that. The waste a fairy, I mean a fairy was utilized. Simple as that. And. I don't think his bats actually drop anything. Whatever. And also, as most sub bosses, they're in like a square room and there's a couple hearts lying around and pots and stuff. Alright, the boss key now. Fantastic. So, we can. If you wanted to, we can go straight to the boss, but that's not what we're doing. We are gonna make our lives difficult. By that, I mean we're gonna have to go and recollect the, the extra fairies and finish the temple because there's a couple things we gotta do and plus there's also one more item we need to get this temple actually has two major items in it all right and once again an easy way to kill these guys is to kind of spin past them what is it they jinx me and it's really annoying it's like oh you can't draw your sword well if you drink the bleh? all right you know i'm just gonna stop talking about that subject i hate the blue bubbles they're just an annoyance as with everything else blow up Thank you. And I also hate that they constantly remind you. They could they could have just um like grayed out your sword or made it transparent and say, oh you can't use this as any logical game would do, but no no, this game has defies logic. Majora's mask hates logic. Logic is the enemy of Majora's mask. And so is happiness and triumph and everything that makes you feel good in life now. Well, this game isn't that bad. I say so many like things about this game being a jerk, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Okay, Death Armos. Why not deal with these? You shoot them, it makes them flip over. Whatever. And they have to like trick it into being stupid and ramming its head into the ground, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Alright, so he kind of knocked me because I... Because basically, I'd say kill him before that happens. Like, kill him before you hit the switch, otherwise he's gonna very annoyingly bother you. I mean, I, I definitely have time to do what I'm doing here. Actually, I don't. I fall twice. See, I put this in just for the sake of laugh, saying, I'm not perfect. Yes, my walkthrough may- I may pretend to be perfect with my walkthrough, but I'm not. Alright. I definitely could have hit that first chest there, but I decided not to. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm talking kind of slower now. I'm trying to make- Make my voice sound more appealing. Even though I know it's not possible, because my voice isn't exactly the most appealing thing ever. Basically, you kill them by making them kill themselves. They're like suicide bombers. They make you force them into a kamikaze. Sir, we had no choice. We had to kill ourselves. Yes, whatever. Go up there. This is where we're going. We're going to the up here place now. Fantastic. And I have full magic now, too. So this is going to work in my favor. Alright, second Igor. He's a little more difficult because he shoots lasers at you. And, yeah, the, the best way to dodge that is just to get, like, a little bit to the side. And, did I get that there? No. Dude, this, this is the only reason why this fight is slightly difficult. Just stand to the side and you'll, you'll be fine. Also, he kind of covers his eye a little bit when you do that, and it's really annoying to dodge. I think he only covers his eye if you hit him in the middle of that. Like... Ah, oh, man. Let's see if I can do this right. Yeah, he only covers his eye if you shoot him while he's shooting you. Hot second, Igor dead, and we get another item. And this is... This item is required to beat the temple, pretty much. Okay. And let's have a look-see. What is this here item? I hope it's candy. It's not candy, it's the giant's mask. Makes you huge, and you can only use it in the boss room of this temple. Fantastic. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Fan-freaking-tastic. Alright. So this is the room where the 
where we got that one stray fairy where I said if you're stupid you'll have to come back later and get it but I wasn't stupid I was careful <laughs> oh yes basically the rest of this video is gonna be spent um elegy of emptiness suffocating this place and by that I mean we're gonna go back to the flip temple or the unflips temple and we are going to grab the last stray fairies and we're not gonna actually go ahead and grab the item because we easily can at this point to be honest no to the first day. That would have been really inconvenient if that happened in midair, because I definitely would have died. Whatever. Okay, you probably could have, like, hook-shouldered yourself across there. I don't know why I switched to this accent, but it seemed a little bit appropriate for the situation. Yes, I missed again. I don't know why. My aim is terrible. But, uh, oh yeah, professional walkthrough here right now, yeah. Seriously, this walkthrough is just as good as any other one. Yeah, Zelda Dungeons got nothing on me. Yeah, because, you know... And notice that Zelda Dungeon, while their walkthroughs are very informative, like twice as informative as mine can be, and they even with their Majora's Mask one, they got a really cool screen going there. You all have to see what I mean. But it's the fact that their commentary is basically pointing out the obvious. It's like commentary for the blind, you know? So especially in their Twilight Princess walkthrough, where some of it's even saying it before it even happens. She says, I love the Zelda dungeon guys, but eh. They gotta work on the not pointing out the obvious stuff. Like, we're watching the video so we can see how to do it. Not to hear you tell us how to do it while you're showing us how to do it. You know what I mean? I mean, I kind of I kind of been doing that a little bit, but you just kind of balance that between entertaining this and, you know, I try to be entertaining and I try to be informative at the same time. You know what I mean? And, of course, it's the perfect time to explain myself during these stupid Elegy of Emptiness scenes. And see, see, I talk about how the Elegy of Emptiness is annoying. And plus, also, my dun my walkthrough is farther than the Zelda Dungeon walkthrough, as far as I know, at this point. So, ha ha. That means, well, plus, they're also getting all the heart pieces. But, I think more progress. If you want to figure out how to beat the game, watch this walkthrough instead. But, since you're hearing me say this, you're already watching it. Whatever. And then you can watch my heart piece guide I'll probably make after this. <laughs> and then you'll be perfect. You'll say, oh, I beat Majora's math perfectly. The last boss is pretty fun in this game, I'd say. Alright, well, whatever. I don't know why that comment was relevant. Alright, guys, next video we'll get the rest of the fairies. See ya.